How are you, Andy? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing all right. You've played Berserk, right? Andy made you play... Well, I say Andy made you. <laughs> that makes it sound worse than it probably is. But you played, um... You, like, streamed it all for Andy, right? Quite soon after it came in. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, and Well, let's get into Pokemon Berserk. I believe we are closing in on the end now. We've got one more feral Pokemon to come. Yeah, yeah. You're like the expert. The game's been updated a few times since you've played it, so um, so who knows. This is our last little team, I'll show you and since you haven't really been able to see much. We've got Mambrosia, we've got Nocturno, we've got Ursaring, Corvusquire. No Corvus Knight yet, hopefully soon. Dendene, Dendene's a bit of a goat. And Sigliff. Sigliff doesn't really do much. Just looks cute. But we are, um, we're on this mountaintop, and now we're gonna go find the very last one, who I believe is... Yeah, I chose Mamprosia, and then I got switched to Doran. You did some quick maths. <laughs> you figured that out rather quickly. Um, I wanted to choose Nocturno, but Cade and Epi had already chosen Nocturno, and I was like, ah... I want to try something else, and so I tried something else, but then I ended up as Dorian with Nocturno anyway, so it seemed like a strange <laughs> turn of cards from a god. I don't know how to say it. So I've taken out Mimikyu, I've taken out Jirafrika, I've taken out Morgam. All I've got left is this guy, who I'm not too sure who it is. I'm trying to remember if I've said it in the notes or not. It looks kind of like a chandelier. Yeah, that's what I mean! That's the quick maths you just did! <laughs> you figured out the... you were like, oh well, he had to pick one of those, and then... When he switched to Doran, he would have turned into one that's super effective, so therefore he must have been the weaker one. That's the quick maths! Your... your brain's working on 50 APM. Dun 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 sparse, hello. <laughs> you know, like super effective stuff. That that's maths. <laughs> Sounds like you're not quite you're not quite following me. A oh, good bounce back, but yawn. Hmm. I imagine we'll be able to finish the stream today. I've been, I've, like, finished the game today. I imagine we're very close to the end. It feels like we're in the finale. We've got one feral Pokemon left on the checklist. Again, lots of levels, lots of XP. Let's switch to someone with Dark type. But yeah, I hope you're doing alright, and I'm glad, I'm glad to see you here again. I feel bad because of, um, literally, like, I just started streaming for today, but Cade also just started streaming, and we're literally both playing Berserk. <laughs> uh, I guess if I can finish quickly, then I can raid him. If I can finish quickly, though, maybe I want to play a start another game instead. I was, I, I liked it a lot, um, I, f I thought it was pretty cool, and I, I guess, can you, right, I guess I can't sucker punch you because you've got nothing that hurts me, and now I can't figure out, fuck, what am I doing? I, I thought it was really cool, um, and like, I, I'll talk a bit more about it when we get to the credits, just so I can try to summarize most of my main feelings, but, uh, I really liked it. I really liked the idea of, uh, you know, building your own team for a little bit, and then, um... <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Get a little duo stream going. I really liked changing our party completely to Doran. It feels like something a bit more brave. It feels like something that not everyone's gonna like, because some people are gonna become attached to their old Pokémon. But I, I kind of dig it. Um... 
I guess the other thing is, um... Where is my brain? What am I thinking about? Right, if you have a problem with it, if someone's just so offended, they're like, oh my god, I can't believe you just killed a Pokemon that I care so much about. They implement the feature that you can actually find your old Pokemon and, like, catch them anyway. So I thought that was a really nice, like, safeguard. I know, Rayquake, and we're both streaming Berserk. So, um, I, I hope you enjoy having two tabs of... Two tabs of Twitch open and listening to two people waffle on at the same time, <laughs> interrupting each other because they can't hear the other person. The other thing I was thinking about, like, while I wasn't playing the game, just off stream, I was like, wow, that Professor Pine guy is like, a royal jackass, he is, he is very bad. He is like the worst of the worst when it comes to people. Um, and I'm guessing that means he has to be, like, the final boss, because surely we want to get some catharsis and whip his ass down for being a, not only a horrible person, not only a horrible scientist, but also a, a horrible dad. Like, a horrible, horrible dad. So hopefully we get to whip his ass. Attacks are by Moonsteam, making future type 90 power. What type? Can you not see type in Gen 2? Let's go to his training kiss then. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rick Rick. What did you do today? GB Studio. Yeah, I do. Um, GB Studio is like the engine that... Um, I believe ECAP made a game in it once. For Game Jam. And gave the perspective that losing your team and resources is a representative of life fame because that's how you got to roll that. GB Studio is like a, um, an engine for making games that seem very Game Boy. <laughs> it's okay, I know. I've got crappy internet, so we need to do, um, need to do it like that. But yeah, if you've ever played, um, I believe it's called Pokemon Seafoam by ECAP. Pokemon Seafoam was made on G Game Boy Studio. A Flappy Kirby. Oh, that's so cute. That's nice. Maybe I should make something on JB Studio. <laughs> No, I'm not that talented. Ah, uh, but maybe I should try. I really want to just do something on Gadot, but I'm just a bad person. That's cool, being able to see it play on your phone. Air slash. Okay. Huh, how did they, um... Does it include a battle system? Because that's like the most annoying thing to do when making a Pokemon fan game that's not on some pre-developed engine like Essentials or PSDK. Did they make a, the battles work in GB Studio? Because that's a lot of work. Super cool to work around like the limitations, right, right. That's pretty insane. Not you again. Oh, this is Fossil Kid. You know what I'm going to tell you. I just found this amazing and rare jaw fossil. Way cooler than your sail fossil. What? No, you can't have it. Well, you know how we will get to... Yep. Oh, Rigfreak, while you're um here, what's the deal with the lighthouse? Like, um... Did I do something wrong and that quest is just broken for me? Or is it just broken in this version of the game? Or is there not actually a lighthouse quest and I'm crazy. I've wanted to work on Unspoken and other stuff so badly, but I've been so overwhelmed by band school. I tried map and stay on sad side. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, obviously, you don't feel bad just to take a break. It sounds like you have your hands full with school and band. It sounds, it sounds pretty shitty. 
Right. That's crazy to like remake all of how Gen 1 Pokemon plays <laughs> and um, make a small bit of the Scarlet and Violet region. I wonder if it's like allowed for you to work on that and so like that could be its own like stem of a Pokemon Essentials like system for GB. If they've already done the battle system, do they allow other people to possibly take that? Hmm. The other thing I remember about GB thing, it was supposed to be a side quest, but to be honest, I've been more flagging on those felt and put it in to normal for part of the so I to change it for more, but you got but you got weird for some reason. Was but it was but not the way it was done. For me, I mean, Retreat can probably tell you because I don't know what's weird and what's not weird. But like, I went here and they were like, "The power's out. Go talk to the captain." The captain was like, "Thank you for helping me. Here's enjoy the TM I gave you." I was like, "Okay." And then I looked through the telescope and I saw a dude, and it was like, "Oh, we should probably." tell the captain about the dude we see in the telescope and like i don't know it was weird there's nothing when you come back i'll be like oh yeah thank you and darren will do the issues but it was entirely skipped so instead i was just extremely confused <laughs> why do i use fake out that's a shame could you have done something with the uh, because I, I liked the little, um, telescope mechanic. I thought that was very cool. And I'm a bit sad that it didn't, like, progress normally for me. Okay, 36. Is that where Corvus Squire evolves? Yes. Thank God. Finally, Corviknight. We'll get to finish the game with Corviknight on our team, which is good. Something I remember about um, Seafone when Ecat made it is that just like, due to the engine, there were a bunch of super weird bugs that at least she felt like she couldn't really have any control over and there were more to do with the engine. But that was a long time ago, so I'm wondering if like that kind of stuff's been fixed now, because that was pretty awkward and it made, um, Made a lot of the stuff in the game feel quite weird. There's just a lot of strange bugs. Give him a mouse and put it up to uh, make a better PC. Oh, that's true. Uh, the PC in the in this game is beautiful. I gotta say though. Okay, see ya, Mr. Fossil Boy. So many ghosts in this cave. How many people died here? <laughs> The spirits trusted me to get rid of them. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't think... I don't, I don't trust your old lady. I think you just trusted yourself to do it, not the spirits. Oh, well, I love a PC section with you. It was beautiful. Before. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I imagine it's come a long way, right? I know, I like, I understand knowing how RPG Maker works. I understand that the, like, the PC is just pictures that it swaps between. But you sell it so well, and it feels so well done. Like, it feels smooth. Is there actually light mode on the PC? That's kind of funny. I imagine it's blinding, as most are. Are we going to die to Aji slash here? Probably. Oh, 1 HP. Good job, Nocturno. Ah, oh, Shadow Sneak. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. 
What am I doing? Do you have a dog type, Mary? Yeah, you do. Faint attack, okay. Get him at Earth Ring. I made one for each stream, but you could make an individual for each pole of Right, I guess and then just have it transparent and over the top of each other. But you have to be pretty careful about positioning, I guess. Yeah. I think what you did works fine, it's not like it causes any problems, and it looks just as good. Tempting to go back and, um... Heal. <laughs> so there's Lady over there, something over here. Why can't I surf? That's weird, that feels unintentional. I have no idea why I can't surf. Do I no longer have a Pokemon with surf? Oh my god, Ferret had surf, that's why. Ah. Let's see. I changed out my surf Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> well, hopefully we can take the, the long way around because we do not have any Pokemon that can learn surf. That is quite funny and awkward. Hello, Pyro. I I don't think we'll need Surf anymore in the game, right? So it should be okay. Back in my day, there used to be a village near Mount Rose. I believe you understand what happened to it. Many people in Pokemon died, and after that, it's almost like Mount Rose is now dormant forever. People need to respect nature and know their own limits. Perhaps this is a sign for all of us. I feel like this resonates with you a bit. Don't talk to me, old lady. You don't know me. So I'm, I guess that explains the ghosts. Is this where, um... I could just hop over here. Oh, if I go there, I think I get nearly softlocked. I'd have fly, so I could get out. But I wouldn't have surf, so I wouldn't be able to get out that way. Let's see. We're gonna save, because I don't want to have to fly out and walk out anyway. Oh no, because I can walk that way, okay. If that ledge wasn't there, I would be dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Safe. So about the um, ghost Pokemon. I mean, obviously we know that um, the feral experiments have happened for a while and they have killed people. Oh, really? <laughs> That's quite funny. I guess I wasn't the only person who thought of that. The fail experiments have ha happened for a while, and I guess, um... Um... The only people we know who have died to it are, like, the kids. Steam. But... Hmm. They talk, kind of talk about this town that used to be here. And it sounds like they're insinuating that the town died because of something with the feral Pokemon, if I had to guess. But I imagine all that's been swept under the rug. rug. Because, um... Otherwise, people would be a lot less supportive of Mr. Pine. Okay. Oh, what the hell? A Tinkerton. Hey, buddy. You look cool. Cool to see you in Gen 2. I like you. You and your little gremlin smile. If I'm not catching Pokemon anymore... Oh, the volcano destroyed the village. That makes sense. <laughs> I I should have figured that out. That's um a bit of reading comprehension on my part. My god. That's free power.
Yeah, I can see the, the deadly... Ooh, I like that lava waterfall. That looks sick. We got some puzzling. Get puzzled. How magical this mountain is. You put blocks in holes and then stairways made by humans just suddenly appear. Freedom. Full restore. Very nice. Feels a bit scary to be given a full restore on the mandatory path like that. Makes me feel like I'm probably going to have to fight something soon. You won't see many trainers around here. I mean, it's understandable, right? So what are you if you're not a trainer? <laughs> Just enjoying the nature? Try to make a connection with the same people would mess with nature and that's how we this nature drawing business experience. Right, yeah, that part makes some sense about the lady saying like not messing with nature should resonate with you. Because obviously we're quite deep in the whole plot of feral Pokemon. Okay, so we do have a trainer here. And of course he's a, a little clown, fire breather. You have to be a clown to be so silly to end up waltzing around up here. If only we could find a nurse to heal our Pokemon. Another Hemo, okay. I've really Dick. Did he actually- is his name actually Dick? <laughs> Do we have a Richard on our hands? Oh boy. Oh boy. Eric, not Dick. Eric. Close- close to Dick, bro. You got a C and a K. Take the end and I. But we don't have a C. Why do I think you have a C? You could have a C. That's quite funny. <laughs> Can't believe Dick got erased from a game. A center scorch. Well, you know, it's just a funny name. Who is that? Is that a Center Scorch? Well, I'm pretty fucked in terms of... In terms of HP. And having Pokemon that can attack... Fire types. Am I gonna use my healing items? How many healing items do I have? Not many. Oh, fuck it. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny likes Dick, it seems. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? We all love a good Charles Dickens. Really? Is this... But you know, and since you've played, they've given all the feral Pokemon, like, new movesets. So, like, the Mimikyu fight was really fucking tough. Oh, okay. I guess at least the stats got lowered, maybe. But now they have like proper movesets, so I'm a bit scared of that. What do I open with? I guess just a nice fake out. That Center Scorch looks dope as fuck, that's really cool. What did I say about Child Dick? I didn't say anything about Child Dick. I said Charles Dickens. You know the, the author? Okay, he's level 28, so hopefully we should actually, um, be fairly chill. Oh, 
Oh, you know it's gold? And you have flash fire, yeah, so I shouldn't have... Fuck me, eh? Is Vine Source streaming? Probably not, um... Sourcemon, bro. I did see he played Sourcemon. Uh, I'm pretty fucked here, eh? That's gonna hurt. Yep. This is all gonna be pretty shitty. Oh, we could do the nuzzle strategy. I forgot that that's something I um I do for these feral Pokemon. And just dazzling gleam. But you resist it, don't you? Because you're fire type. God. With Paralyzed, maybe we have a chance, um, but it will be tough. Either way, I think we can reset, we can try to nuzzle from the start. Not activate Flash Fire. Now, see, that's been updated. Now all of the movesets are updated, and that's why Mimikyu is such a fucking bitch. Mimikyu has like 5 HP spars, it's pretty goddamn tanky. And then it spams double team so that its evasion goes through the roof. And Mimikyu in general is just also like a strong Pokemon to deal with. So I'm excited to see Kade deal with Mimikyu because I, I thought that fight was tough as fuck. And I want to see how he handles it. I did it eventually and I did like um... and actually used strategy to beat it. I used a bunch of like home claws and stuff. So that like my evasion matched their my accuracy got boosted to try to match their evasion. Yeah, it's like Andrea and Adrian or something, right? Alina and Adrian, I was close. Good flinch. Oh, Sigrid does a lot of damage to Sense Scorch. <laughs> Is this when I find out that N's name is Adrian? No, I'm pretty sure I've heard N's name before. Why do I not remember it? Good critical. Oh, was that not in the original? I'll be honest, I completely forgot about that cutscene. We did we did first try somehow. Sigliff was very strong there. There you go, Center Scorch, you're free! You don't see them die, but they kind of just like flash and disappear. There goes the last one, that only leaves one. Time to go to Dripstone Cave. Oh, okay. I guess we're returning to the, the big boy? Nolan, maybe I don't know your name. Is that the first time I've heard this end? Are you Nolan and the sword? Why, why do you sound like 50 years old? No way. How do I fly? Take me to this place. Into Dripstone Cave we go though. That Center Scorch design was really sick. But by far, Mimikyu has been the hardest fight so far. I feel like Nolan just comes across as such like an... Oh, I shouldn't say that. Kate has a friend called Nolan, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, but I feel like names between Australia and America aren't that different, are they? Maybe they are. <laughs> hey, don't, don't go silly mode on me. I'm not, I'm not a silly duffer. Like, I don't... I don't know any Nolans, and in terms of like Nolans I know, I know like Christopher Nolan, the movie director, that's that's like it. Oh true, that's Nolan, not Nolan, holy shit. 
I'm racist towards names starting with N. They all just fuse to the same to me. 